All right, we are live. Hello out there in the YouTube. We got five people watching. Probably everybody that's everybody that's in here. All right, I'm gonna start the comments off. Let's see. We're going to throw a little. We got Carrie's in there, Denise is in there, Connie, Marion, and let me go pin this bad boy. Let me pin this up here, pin message. All right. All right, everybody in YouTube, we are live again. Everybody in Discord, we are live again. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 people plus me over in the Discord. And we've got about nine people watching on YouTube. So here we go again. And who we got over there? We got Amelia here and Amelia there. Marion here and Marion there. And Connie over there on YouTube and not in there. And Denise over on the tube, but not in the chat. Very good. On the voice, I mean. Okay. We're going to continue on here. Go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, where, where are you at, Lee? Oh, shoot. I didn't invite you yet. Ha, 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 Well, I'm telling you, them people, man, they need to get fired or something. Let's see. Eagle. Here he is. There it is. It's all Kevin's fault. Now, Kevin did mention that Lee was not a good moderator. Because he didn't mention that UConn sports 37 seconds after Kevin posted it the first time. <laughs> I said, I said, don't worry, Kevin. Lee, Lee does what he can. <laughs> uh, Most times. Kids. What do he you mean? Lee needs to step up. <laughs> Kevin goes, Lee needs to step up. I will step up as soon as you start stepping up and learning how to make pens. Ooh, good thing he can't hear you. He might actually take you up on that. <laughs> there you go. Hey, at least it would get Tim some help. He said we're watch he says we're watching watching Master Chef while I'm out here turning the pen. I said, okay. Well there you go. <laughs> Master Chef Australia. Master Chef Australia. Hello, Amelia in YouTube. Hello, Amelia. Everything's getting on your last nerve. Your last one? Okay, this is a very interesting blank here. Let's use this. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Who's playing you starting with? Who's what? Who's Patty starting with? This is uh, Lindsay's. Lindsay. Yes, yeah, the one that we did before. We did one of hers. Now we got three more to do for her. Okay. Blow her on. I can hear. Got the head coming down. Lathe is on. Here we go. And away we go. Ugh. Picky, picky, picky. I would rather watch my pen. This is who you're working on? Sure. 
Okay. This almost looks like camouflage, sort of this army green. Kind. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not, but it looks like it. Resemble. Twenty four six baseball bat in. Then we'll figure out. Somebody opened up something good. Box for you. <laughs> Plastic. Somebody opened up something good, a box of Oreos. <laughs> Sounds like they're, you know, digging through that, getting a couple out, taking the yep. or something. Oh, the money. No, Mom, she doesn't want what she just said. I prefer Chips Ahoy. I, I do love my Oreos, don't get me wrong, but I would rather have, if I had my choice between Chips Ahoy and Oreos, I'd take the Chips Ahoy. For the price, I think Twist, Twist and Shout, which is the Oreo knockoff of great value, is just as good. Yep. I found a lot of the quote-unquote no-name brand or the, the off-market brand have, for a lot of things are just as good. I mean, that's like those those huge bags of cereal you get on the bottom shelf. Malto meal. You know, it's like they have, obviously, they have different names because they can't, but they, uh, like Lucky Charms. They're pretty close. You know, they taste pretty darn close to the original. And they're a lot cheaper. Oh, man. I'm picky with a lot of things, and I, you know, and I don't mind the, the off-brand cereals. When I first started walking at Walmart, yeah, they used to do little taste testings in the lounge during breaks. Yeah, I'd go grab some uh, twist and shouts or whatever, take them in the lounge, let them try them, and say, "What do you think of these?" And a lot of people that worked they didn't even eat that stuff. I'm like, hmm, Walmart brand, let's get rocking and rolling here, you know. Dedicated yep. to the car. The Fig Newtons, I think Fig Newtons for a great value brand are better than Fig Newtons. And man, a yep. whole lot cheaper. Hey, Stacy Hardy. I think great value Pop Tarts are better than Pop Tarts. Yep. Harry doesn't agree. I do. Yeah, great value toast. What do they call them? Toaster pastries. Yeah, some kind of thing. Yeah. All right, look at this one here. This is pretty popular. Yeah, but like I said, it's just you know, the the ser the off brand cereals are just as good. The only things I don't skimp on really are Jeff, you know, my peanut butter. It's either Jeff or Skippy, and I I won't do anything else. So guess guess who great value guess who great value peanut butter is made by? Guess who great value peanut butter? Is made by? I understand. I understand that. I'm just saying, you know, 
in my case, in my case, that's the only brand names I will I will take. Right, it's made you by know. Jif. It's made by Jif. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. they had the big peanut butter scare probably about eight or nine years ago, and all the peanut butters were removed from the shelf. The only thing remaining were Jif and Great Value. Yep. Yep. Heinz or Great Value ketchup is made by Heinz. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's just as good. They're almost the same package because they make them on the same line, but they got to use a little bit different but the part that touches the machine. Is the same. Okay. I think we're going to. We're going to do a couple of digs on this. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. Coming to see her pins. Uh oh, the boss is watching. I got the game. Hello. Uh oh, watch out. The boss is there. That's what I said. Watch out. Hey, Lindsay, did you see your first one we did for you? You can watch it being turned, but check this out. Let me get the dust off. That was that was the last one you turned before we went before you went to pick up Kevin, right? Yep. Yeah, this is Lindsay's. So it's the last pen on the last live. There it is. It I'm came out you right now. Cool. I'm going to tell you right now. When you look at the blank, when he sets it out, you're going to say that's not the set. That didn't come from that pen. Yeah, it's wild. No, that pen didn't come from that blank. But it did. I think I'm going to do basis on this. One. That's got a really almost a camouflage pattern. Yeah, that's what you said when you when you made it round. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You talk about the one that he just showed, Lindsay, Amelia, that purple and white one. Amelia wanted to know. Yeah, Amelia wanted to know what blank that was. Um, that was a cocoon blank. I'm not sure what the name could be. Yeah. But it came from so, the they, so he didn't know that he didn't know the name, just the fact that it was a cocoon, which you already knew, obviously. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Oh, carry me. If there even is a name. It's the two main bears. Probably not. I don't know, but they should. They should take after Tim and Carrie. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a feather in your cap cocoon copying you? I really like chicken testing. Cocoon testing. They do a great job on it. They're really big into the knife market, too. Knife. And they go to one of the... Not a clue what you're talking about. So, th so they have there's uh, pen shows around the country. You know, people go yep. there to look at that kind of thing. Yeah. And Cocoon 
attends those shows. Who's digging into the Oreos again? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they, they attend those shows, and they sell lots of blanks. And they sell a lot of blanks to ink pen and fountain pen makers. Lots of them. And knife makers. I just... I think they were doing that long before they got into the diamond painting. It's a possibility. Oh, guarantee the fuck. Gotta go to bed, I understand. See you, Tammy. Happy Easter. Good night, Tammy. Happy Easter. Bye bye. All righty. Nighty night. Cocoon sells a lot of their blanks, not only in the show, not mine, all that kind of stuff. They're also in the store called Turner's Warehouse down in Phoenix. Of course, they're in Gilbert. So Chad at Turner's Warehouse stocks their products on the shelf. And that's more, no diamond painters going there, I can imagine. But it's mostly the pen market. Like we're doing a few. Vases. The vase. And welcome back. Welcome. Yeah. Uh huh. Welcome back, Mrs. Carter. Mr. Carter. What are you making? Nice. Nice. Yeah, it sounds delicious already. You can have it. <laughs> what time is it? Cool. That's right. Should be right down. I'm gonna go get that private jet right now. There you go. That's right. It's just another twenty hour drive to uh what is it, North or South Carolina? I forget which it was now. One of the Carolinas. South, there you go. Yeah. Come on. There you go.
Hey, did you go to that place down there, that, that Easter place, the uh, reception center for Easter dinner, or is that tomorrow? Oh, okay. Want to get a report on that, see how it is, because let me go next year. Cool. Ooh, that thing is smooth. We're not talking the game. <laughs> huh? I keep telling people. I am not Mr. Pure and Innocent, that's for damn sure. <laughs> That's true. Well, I'm not ill. Define sick. <laughs> uh, that's why I said I'm not ill. I might be sick, but I'm not ill. So, Marion, if you're looking for barbecue in Oklahoma City, I'm sure there are many and fabulous all around. But our favorite place is Clark Crew Barbecue. Man, they are. They are delicious. Right on uh, Northwest Expressway down by where you get on 74. Just fantastic. Clark Crew. There's only one in town that I'm aware of. So it's pretty awesome. That's pretty good, too. I, I love their Penang. Their, I mean, their uh, chicken satay and they got a really nice pineapple fried rice, good pad thai. That sounds good. We get some good Tom Yum soup. You know, that's that super thick mushroom soup. We always get low on the cilantro and add more tomatoes. And it... That pineapple that's fried rice, though, sounds really good. It is freaking awesome, Lee. It is awesome. I wonder if P.F. Chang's would have it. Absolutely. One of my one of my favorite pizzas is pineapple and jalapeno with extra cheese. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, I mean all, all the good stuff. But the kicker is the sweet and the hot. It is delicious. Harry don't like. It. <laughs> Okay, that is one cool blank. Look at that green glitter swirl that has come out. That is wild. The black really highlights some of that tan in there. My goodness. I never would have put those colors together. There's like a purple... A tan, a green, and that might be it. Wow, that's cool. I could look at this one for a while. Ah, uh, yeah, it could be. It could be. I love the color and the motion, that's for sure. Let's see. Let me get over here and switch to the boofer. Ooh. 
Yeah, Gary says, oh, you put a pretty good dent in your order bucket. I said, yep. We're going to have a good day tomorrow, too, and pound some more out of there. And then she'll fill it back up with all the other stuff that come, like Troy stuff. And I think uh, Stacy's got some stuff in there. And, oh, and Caroline's is going to come up. That'll be fun. This is a way different one. These colors never, ever will pick these colors. I think there's only three. I think there's the clear with the green, uh, or green with the, 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 what do you call it, the uh, glitter, and then black, purple, and gray. The black, purple, and um, beige. So it looks like that pasty beige that we have now. Is somebody snatching cookies? What is that? I don't know what that sound is. It's like, guess that sound. What is it? I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I'm sure it's Wanda. It's like it's like somebody's reaching into a package full of cookies, one of those those cellophane cookie holder things. Oh, it could be. There we go. Yep, I think there's only four colors. A purple, a beige, that green glitter, and black. Cool stuff. And it does look like camouflage. Okay, now this one here almost looks familiar. Because they've got some of that Tiffany blue in there. Well, they must have other paste too, because they got some green paste or some purple paste, or it's, it doesn't look like it because it's too opaque. You all right? At this rate, I will never make a 24 hour live. Well, you, you have to prepare, Lee. We'll give you a, a week's notice, and you can prepare to support. <laughs> I'm already starting to fade. <laughs> Hello, Denise. Oh, it won't be there, Denise. It won't be there. Camera. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Denise. If I didn't say hello to you earlier. You're welcome. Flying ribbons. Six baseball bat ends, and we'll see. 
so what's the method of that sound that we're hearing? Is that like you pushing against something and pulling a, a drill up or something? Yeah, what yeah. is that? I mean, what, what's the operation going on? I'm trying to get it in my head. Yeah, but oh, oh, okay. Because it sounds like you were grabbing something out of the plastic. I guess it's not it. Gotcha. Yep. I was just trying to figure it out. I was trying to figure out what the sound was that I was hearing, like what the operation was. Why don't, why it's not annoying. Use, I just couldn't figure it out. Why don't you use cover sheets? Right. No, you don't. Forty-six on that one. Forty-six on that. Straighten out the end of this one here. Oh, he'll be on. Bye-bye, Melanie. Bye-bye. Have a good night and have a good Easter. But when she leaves, she don't pull around. Goodbye means goodbye. When a woman after my own heart. Bye. See you later. Click. <laughs> well, that's why I went. Bye bye. He was just practicing on you to get ready for Tammy. To get ready for Tammy, yep. I don't think I've heard you that gleeful before, Tim. Have me do what now? I, said, I, I don't think I've ever heard you that gleeful. What gleeful? When I disconnected Tammy. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I think I, I think I wet myself. It was just like just dropping her out. Boom, gone. 
Didn't even let her finish her statement. No. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, go. Oh, no, what did I sign up for? Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Do it. Well, you can do it. Okay, remember you asked for it. Wait a minute. What did I sign up? Click. <laughs> That's still funny. But I assured her I would not use it unless I got your okay at first because she wasn't going to bed when she should be. <laughs> Tonight she was actually good. She went to bed without too much of a fuss. We'll be back. Yep. Well, that's what I tried to tell her the other night. It's like, hey, you know, you don't miss a whole hell of a lot because all you have to do, if you're bored, watch the replay. And you know he's going to be back the next day when it's on the weekend anyway. Or just go watch it in bed as you fall asleep. Yep. Tim is talking to himself, so it seems. Your uh, mic went down again, Tim. Mic went down where? There you go. I'm not sure what happened. I think it went down as in the volume went all the way down to the basement. Oh. And that if was without the blower noise. On. Yeah, if it makes it detects noise and it does. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, excuse me. One more pen after this one, and I'm not calling it good for tonight. One more pen after this one, and what? Then we'll be done for the night. I want to get Lindsay's done for the evening, and then we'll start a new in the morning. Ah. Uh. Don't know. Sometime. Sometime after he wakes up. Yeah, I probably won't be on that early. I got other stuff. I got other stuff I got to do. Got to, get stuff done. got to put the smoker on. Put the ham in the smoker. Probably got to go to Walmart and get a couple of chickens because they didn't have an expensive cart pressed. And I want to spatchcock a couple of chickens. Hey, there'll be plenty of food here. Oh, <coughs> oh man. <laughs> yep. Temperature probe, the whole bit is crazy. So better buy. Makes me look like I know what I'm doing when I'm barbecuing. I've never, yeah, well, yeah, I've never made a brisket until I bought the Traeger. So I didn't know anything about it. And I got it. It was easy. And I thought, oh, crap. It makes more. I made probably about 20 of them so far in the last few years. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It's, it's it. 
is it. Lindsay just came on. She said, is this one of mine? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I thought Lindsay was here earlier. Is that a different Lindsay? I don't remember Lindsay being here earlier. Oh, I thought I was talking to Lindsay when I said, hey, you're going to the last, the last live. First couple on this one. But yes, ma'am. Remember we said the boss was here? I thought that was Lindsay. Yeah. Uh, Discord keeps kicking her off, so she must have been on Discord and I didn't realize it. Oh, I could. Because remember, typing. we showed her the showed her that that's green, right. purple, black one. Yep, that's right. Because we told her it was the last one on the last live. Yeah, that's right. Okay, my bad. Oh, it's past my bedtime. It's past my bedtime. Yeah, same here. Same here. But I'm not used to going to bed late anymore. I used to be, but... I used to not go to bed until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. This is actually, this is actually pretty late for me. I'm usually a 10 o'clock at night guy. Carries the nightclub. We, we just went over this not too long ago. Dude, this is one subtle pen. This is a very... That very, is nice. It's a, yeah, very chill looking pen. Very calm. Almost looks like clouds. Yeah, like you said, very subtle color changes. Yeah. Here. What babies? Oh, eighties, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't understand it. Most women love a man with a good set of abs. Well, you said ABs, that spells abs. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go ahead.
This almost looks like a baby's toy. With this super, yeah, super subtle. Yeah, I think I think she had it right. I think it looks like cotton candy. Yeah. You know, you yeah. get the you get the you get the cotton candy in the bags where it has the blue and the pink and the you know, and they all just sort of like merge into one another. These pins are looking gorgeous. I have a couple more cocoon blanks to send. To, I have a couple more cocoon blanks to send to you guys. I'll have to send a bag of Brock's orange orange slices for the artist. Oh yeah, Brock's is the best. The others are okay, but Brock rocks it. They make my tongue tingle. I think there's some kind of drugs in there. <laughs> calm down now, Cassie. Calm down. I, I won't say what I'm thinking, but I'm sure you have the idea. <laughs> And this, this artist really appreciates the gift of the box. <laughs> This one here. So you're saying I can't screw it up then? <laughs> Good night, everyone. Happy Easter if you observe the holidays, says Stacy Hardy. Stacy, you do the exact same thing. Hi, Stacy. Happy Easter. Have a wonderful Easter and fun with the family. You are so welcome. They have better bees up in Canada. They don't steal the company. Yeah. None of your bees whack. That, that'd be the name of my... None of your bees whack. Just go to the store and buy some Crayola. Yep, I know. What was that, Tim? That's paraffin, not beeswax. Great order. Oh, I'm sure you can't get pregnant with stolen stuff. I don't know. Somebody, I heard, I heard on somebody's live that they used at one point in time. They tried the Crayolas and they worked pretty well. Well, I didn't say they worked work. I didn't have too much. I know you didn't. I'm just saying that's, you know, an option if you don't have any others. But that'd be the name of my company that made quick. None of you. Absolutely. <laughs> 
I don't take any blame for anything. <laughs> drill vacuum, drill vacuum. I keep saying I'm going to, and I haven't done it yet. F oh, my problem is... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. I find I find after I finish my whipping shot I still have a lot of diamonds hanging out on the canvas where there are diamonds already it's like how the hell did these get here but I tend to shake the tray a little harder than I probably need to and of course they go flying and I just don't see them You can also use candlesticks to draw on eggs before dying. You mean when he's polishing, Sherry? I think Sherry's asking about the, the polish that you use, but I'm not sure because she, she asked, is that soap and the rag that you use? Oh, no, it's, uh, it's this stuff right here. Yeah. There you go. Last X. A little dab on there. It's just a, it's a plastic polish. Hello, hello. You can't sneak in here, I'll tell you. No, it's not. Problem is, I forgot who was here beforehand. But I think it was Jen that just popped in, but I'm not positive. If it's Jen, hello, Jen. Okay. It wasn't Jen then. Oh, hey. Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. I hope so. See, I thought she was here before. Yeah, we determined that already. That's when I apologized because I said I was wrong. Always does. That but that's all right. Oh, you making a mess. I, I do make a mess. Yeah. That's that's why that blower that's why that air hose comes in so handy because he cleans it up in one swift one swift swipe. But why do it mid turn? It's more fun to wait. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Just me taking off a bunch.
little Shea by the Sea vibe of bringing in the cheery side of the Yep. And you never know, it may make a comeback, too. <laughs> I like it. We did it on Shade. We did it on Valentine Vixen, but we cut out the middle here on Valentine. That's the yep. cast of lights. And then we also did this on... Um, I remember. I don't remember. I do. And I help. Chicken bacon. Chicken tonight. And I help. Anybody remember Cello? Don't you? Is that just me? Cello, what? Cello, one, two, three. No. Yes, ma'am. It made a. You'd make it, and it would separate before it hardened. Or thickened, or whatever they call that process, but it was essentially a, a frothy, creamy stuff on the top, sort of a mixture of that and jello on the bottom or in the middle, and then just jello on the bottom. So you got this sort of parfait kind of deal. Don't ever know what happened to it, just sort of, it just wasn't popular. Yeah, remember bunt cakes? Yep. Yeah, they're not they're not they're not much around anymore the way they used to be. My favorite one of those was the lemon blueberry. Lemon blueberry. Oh, that was so good. Oh yes. Those ain't cheap. Goodness. Oh, yes. I've had it. It's delicious, but man, it is not a cheap dessert. They are awesome. Yeah, there's probably 10 of those around Oklahoma City. Yeah, I think we do too, Denise. Oh, is that Lee? Uh, Denise was saying she has a bunt pan. And I said, I think we do too. Me too. Yeah. It's just not it. Yeah, it's just not in fashion anymore, but it's a very useful pan to. You, you can make killer jello mold in that thing. It's like the muffin pan. My favorite muffin pan is the muffin top pan. 
All it does is makes the muffin tops. It doesn't yep. make the sides, the bottoms, just the top, which is the best part. Yeah, the rest of it's the rest of the muffin is just there to hold the top up. <laughs> so why do you need it? It's good. And you can still get them too. Oh, absolutely. Right on. I never saw one of those, but I like it. Not have I. Oh, is that the one that Kraft makes? Or is it a is it a maker? Oh, it's a cooker, so it's not the actual product. Gotcha. Cool. Ah. Uh, Life, life has just gotten so easy when you could take box macaroni and cheese and make it easy. That's all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Throw some uh, hot dogs in there, mac and cheese. How about that? Oh. That sounds like you're trying to make it healthy. <laughs> this is mac and this is mac and cheese we're talking about here. I'm going to come out with a product. Pre, pre cook. Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to start popping right now. They might still have one. That's true. True, true, true. Well, you actually you don't have you never have enough pens. That's right. Must be someone. That's it. Wow. This thing is very, very three dimensional. My goodness, that is like, it's like lace or stringy stuff through there. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Interesting is that this one here, the brown one, actually takes away a lot of the shine and reduces the grit. So it makes it a little milkier looking. But I do it because I do it at a 45 degree angle because I'm getting rid of as many turn lines as I can. You never get rid of all of them, but you, you sort of cross hatch them this way and they disappear and get smoothed out. And then when you put it on the white one in the center there, that's when it really takes up, but that's actually finer than the Plastex polish. We call it a diamond ball. Super, super fun.
until they wear out, I guess. I think you're all, yeah, I think they're all broke in now, probably last couple of years. Yeah. And how hard you press on it and all that kind of stuff. It's a way cool, but I think it's the depth because the, the main material is this translucent light black. It's like a like a like a dirty water kind of thing. And all the other colors are flowing through it. And that was cool. Yeah, there we go one more time. All polished up. That is pretty cool. Besides all my fingers all over. Dusty fingers. It's cool. It's got some little mica pink in there, too. That is pretty nifty. All right, so to review, these are all of Lindsay's pens that we did today. We did this really cool cream, purple, black type of thing. Came out really nice. Put a, a Morse code turn on it. Put a couple of vases on this one that almost looks like camouflage, but the more you look at it, you only see four colors, the green, the purple, the beige, and the black. That's pretty cool. Then we got this one that, quite frankly, looks like cotton candy. Same colors and all. Pastel purple, pink, and probably that Tiffany blue. And the last one, whatever the name of this one is called, it's got sort of a similar uh, Shea by the Sea kind of turn on it. There you go, Lindsay. And I think a couple of these were the result of the thing Carrie had on on Wednesday, the blank and pen drop kind of thing. Yeah, she had a good time. So as you can see, my out box is now full. These are all the turn pens from yesterday and today. So I've got a lot of orders done. Every every envelope is in order. So that that is pretty cool. Can you guys see that as I go back and forth? Cool. So we got a bunch done in these two days. We're going to get a bunch done tomorrow, too. All right, YouTube, everybody out there. Let me see how many folks we got there in the tube. Still 12 people hanging on. It's super late. Denise D says, holy crap. I'm not sure what that was for, but <laughs> must be all, must be the gorgeous pens. All right, I'm going to say goodbye to all the YouTubers. Thank you. Happy Easter. We'll see you tomorrow if you're around.